Hello, I am Gary Brantner of Rent Arb Studios Comics, and this is my YouTube show where I talk about Kickstarters and indie comics, reviews of other comics, um, anything that I get in my mailbox, whatever, just interests me at the moment and I want to talk to you about. Um, whew, sorry. <laughs> so I'm in, I'm right here in my basement, and uh, it's been it's kind of noisy today. I got a neighbor mowing over here, and uh, the washing machine keeps draining through the pipes. So, if you hear anything weird like that, I'm sorry about that. But this is my office, my basement, and right now I'm working on uh, organizing my comics. I just got some new boxes uh, to keep my comics in. I I buy uh, totes. I'll have to show you that. Let me actually show you one of those right now. So these are hefty totes I got at the hardware store and they are perfect for storing comics as you can see back there. They're good for if you have uh, if you're worried about water damage or you know those cardboard things they they do not hold up very well and uh, yeah ever since I had a flood a couple of years ago I've been using things like those totes. Um, it's kind of nice to use clear ones because then you can see what's in them and easily categorize your comics by indie, Marvel, DC. I even have a whole box of nothing but John Romita Jr. comics, so that's how I do it. Anyway, yeah, uh, that would have been done this week, but I've had a, a little rough week. Um, my grandma died this week. I just we just had the uh, funeral yesterday and uh, the viewing the day before so spent some time with my family and took care of all that stuff so yeah um okay let's talk about a little bit lighter stuff um so yeah what's on kickstarter right now that you guys should know about is by the time i get to dallas one and two and it is about a uh, an apocalypse uh, event where 80% of the world's population just feel the compulsion to uh, migrate to one spot on the map, and that's Dallas. And they don't care about their own uh, safety or other people's safety. Just they just feel like they got to get there. And uh, so this doctor, uh, he strives to figure this out and what why this is happening and what he can do to stop it because I I think uh, his girlfriend maybe even some of his family are the ones that are compelled to get to Dallas and so if he doesn't stop that from happening that they, they could die on the way there that's an interesting uh, kickstart it's got 15 days to go on here it says but it is fully funded so if you back it right now you are going to get the book um, and then another thing that I just recently discovered on Kickstarter was Hollowed Issues by Casey Bacon and Casey Bacon Strips Boker. Wow, that's a different name. Um, so I'm back in that one. If you look for Hollowed Issues on Kickstarter, you will find that. Um, right as of right now, it is double what they were asking for on their goal so they are going to make it they have 27 days to go still too the art is very um, very graffiti and loose like uh, similar to uh, spider Gwen so that'll be interesting to see I'm glad I'm back in that one it's for issues one and two so that'll be some fun stuff to read um, let's see what else is going on in Kickstarter uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, Miss Catonic High, I think, is launching very soon, so I can't wait to get in on that one. Alright. So, let's start in with the reviews. Here's my little review banner. Do, 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 do. Reviews by Rent Arb Studios Comics. That's me. And what I recently read was She Said Destroy. Uh, I picked up this comic book from Gamers Asylum in Ogden, my local comic shop. And it is written by Joe Corallo, 
artist is Liana Kangas, and the colorist is Rebecca Nalti, and lettered by Melanie Ujimori. And, oh my heck, it has got some amazing art. I mean, hands down, first of all, to the colorist, because that's what grabbed my eye, is uh, just, just how well it is colored, all the vibrancy and some amazing stuff going on. Um, it is the story of, it seems like it's in another world or another realm, and there are these two gods, the god of light and the god of death, or goddess of light and the goddess of death, more like, and uh, the goddess of light wants uh, the light to touch all of everything, the darkness, no shadows left in the world. Meaning that she's set out in her goal to uh, to make sure that she's the only goddess left, and so she's she's striving to uh, eradicate all the followers of death, and uh, nothing's going to stop her in that way. Um, I like I like the art; it's very loose, very kinetic, and uh, a lot of action. Like I said, the vibrancy of the colors is. It's amazing. The letterist even uses a different color when the goddess of light is talking and a different color when the goddess of death is talking. So, yeah, it's very cool stuff. There's one follower that uh, is a chosen one, basically, and uh, she she goes on a prayer a pilgrimage to uh, find out what she needs to do and her instructions from the goddess are destroy so that's why it's called she said destroy um, so yeah this is a great first volume and uh, it's from vault comics and yeah I'm thankful for uh, gamers asylum for putting this in my hold and I can't wait to see if uh, another issue lands in my hold or another volume so that's neat uh, it's good stuff um, that's all my reviews for today. So now I will go on to. Sorry, I'm probably out of shot there. Rent Narb's mailbox. Woo! This is all the stuff that I got in the mail this week. And um, let's see here. I got a Sharpie pen. It is a very fine point. And from Wish, I've got uh, Micron pens. Let's see if it show you the anyway this is a micron pen of 08 uh, I draw in 07 lead so 08 is perfect for the look I want and I got 05 for finer details but I hardly ever use 05 really um, but these were uh, very cheap on wish it's not a bad way to go you just have to wait a very long time I've got a gold metallic uh, marker and a silver metallic. Uh, that Those will be good for signing comics once uh, Comic Cons start back up again. Also from Wish, I've got a Gary the Snell type pin. Um, obviously I like Gary because my name's Gary. Uh, who doesn't like Spongebob, right? So there's Gary the Snell pin. And I've also got a Doodle Bob pin. Uh, these guys were uh, they were free. All I had to do is pay the shipping from Wish. Focus. Is it gonna focus? That's Doodle Bob. Ing hi hi ji die. And there's my Forky. A new Forky pin. Um, you know Forky from uh, Toy Story. So he's a fun guy. You gotta love the Forky. And I got a Deadpool. So those are new from my mailbag this week. And, uh, oh yeah. Also on Kickstarter is my very own Renarp Studios uh, pin. Just like those pins. Uh, same size, I think, is what I'm going for. I'm going to make them through Pins Pros Plus here in Utah. And uh, there are 10 days left for you to get onto Kickstarter and back my project. It is fully funded as we speak. I am at 
Um, so it's kind of hanging by an edge, really. Uh, but if you jump in there right now, solidify that goal, and uh, that helps me out a lot. Remember, 10 days to go. Check that out very soon. Um, so that's all I have to talk about for today. And uh, I have some... Oh, oh wait. Ah, no, that is not all I've got to talk about. I forgot to say I got Miskatonic High Volume 1 in the mail. So, Mis if, as you know, Miskatonic High is one of my favorite reads right now by Mike Shea and Ryan Mendoza. It's very cool stuff. It came with a card. They all come with these cards, um, baseball card style. It comes with posters. This is like a breakfast club looking uh, setup pose. So that'll be fun to put on my wall once I get a, an official office. And here's another pit flyer pin poster thing kind of thing to pin up. So that's Miskatonic High from Mike Shea and Ryan Mendoza. Like I said, I think they are launching soon for their seventh issue. So check that out. Another thing I recently backed is a comic called Steak, number one. And the steak, I think it's... It just says burn on here, but I think it's from a David burn. And uh, they are grayscale on the inside. Only this cover has red on it. Um, so I got two issues of number one. So that'll be good. I have a buddy at work that uh, he would like that. And it comes with a pin also. As you know, uh, since I write Peter Pan the Vampire, uh, I'm into vampire stories, so... Ooh, and there's a sticker. You know I love stickers, so that's going to be going on my laptop. So, the stake, number one. I, I will add this to the read pile, and you will be hearing about that one sooner or later. My read pile's pretty big, so who knows when that's going to happen. And, uh, yeah... So that's the end of the mailbox today, the end of the reviews today, and um, I hope you're all doing well during this COVID-19. Um, officially, summer has started, even though the kids have been out of school for a good while now. Um, but, yeah, so uh, I get my laptop back, I could get back into making my comics, so that'll be nice. Uh, my kids won't need it for homework. And, uh, yeah, just uh, be safe, be with your families, um, and uh, make sure you're doing everything you can uh, creatively or either way, uh, just, just uh, spread happiness. Try not, to, try not to worry too much about the bad. Uh, there's a lot of bad going on right now. Um, oh, yeah. Every time I open the social medias, it, but just just look for the happiness, spread happiness. Uh, the one thing we don't need is uh, negativity, so don't don't go around bashing people's comics or artwork. Uh, just support the comics you like, uh, spread spread the comics you like, so that other people can discover them, and because they'll stick around a lot longer if everybody knows about everything. That's why. That's one of the reasons I do this, is if I like something, I want everybody to know about it so it sticks around. Um, so yeah, check out all these comics. Look them up. Find out how you can get your own. And uh, yeah, this She Said Destroy, I'm sure you can get from your local comic shop. Just call them up and uh, say, hey, put that in my hold. And they could either deliver it or curbside pick up like what I've been doing with my comic shop lately. And uh good stuff all around so just look for the good that's what I'm here for is to help you find some good stuff and uh, be with family be with safe and be safe and uh, that's the end of my awkwardness for today so be sure to check out my Kickstarter 10 days left I could really use your help um, and it's not just helping me you also get a cool pin out of it you can get some cool comics uh, we are almost to I only need one more backer and we will unlock the uh, stretch goal reward, which is I'm my stretch goal reward is going to be miniature Peter Pan comics. These, this is about the size of your credit card. 
but it is a full-size comic book from front to finish. It even has the Kablam ad on the back. So one more backer and everybody gets one of these added to their uh, package. It's a, it's a fun little thing. Mini comics are awesome and it, it'll come in a protective sleeve. So one more backer and you will get a miniature comic. And if I reach 30 backers you get issue 2 in mini size. So that's something to look forward to. Ten more days to go. Check it out, please. Uh, Alright, I said I was going to end this, and I went on a little further, so this is really the end. Peace. Shaka. Out.